can't believe oh it. Oh my gosh, she has teeth or something in there. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, my bad. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Let me have it. What? <laughs> you don't want to play no more? You're getting old. Okay, this is the Garmin Portable Fish Finder. You can take this anywhere you want to, dock fishing. But the reason I got it to go on my kayak, I've already taken it out to the uh, dock and it works really well. Let me show you what it is. Okay, has its own screen. Back behind there has the uh, sensor and the battery. And it could be one little portable thing that you can carry with you. And there she is. This is gonna be something um, that I'm adding to my kayak. So I can have a fish finder, depth finder, look for a structure underneath the water. And this is what I'm gonna use. I'm not sure how um, I'm gonna install it yet but I have some ideas. Like I said, it already comes in its handy little carrying case. This is what I would stick to the bottom of the boat. It's already got some, uh, peel this up, it's already got some glue. And then mount the sensor on top of it. And that way it'd be held in place. Then run the wire back to my Garmin uh, Fish and Depth Finder. All right, let's turn this around so I can show you what's back here. This is the, uh, the sensor or transducer. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it goes down like that. It's got this little float. So right now I got it rigged up for um, dock fishing. And so I just stole this off in the water and it floats something like this. It's got the battery right there. Got the little leads that it connects and then connects to the back of the, uh, the screen. Battery is real easy to charge. It comes with charging cables. But just as it is right there, it is a very nice little unit. Like I said, I've taken it dock fishing. I'll just carry it with me in my bucket, throw it over the side of the dock, and uh, then I can tell, you know, what kind of fish are there. But this is the mount I'm gonna use to put in the bottom of my kayak, and then put the, which I'll have to cut it out but I'll lay that sensor down in there. I'll probably take off this handle, but fit that little sensor down there where it stays. And uh, that's how I mount it to my kayak. And then when I want to take it out, I can just pop that out, put it back in the bag, and there she is. But I wanted to show you my next uh, addition to my kayak. All right, let's turn this on. You have different types of uh, radar. You got your tra traditional, your flasher, your split frequency. Um, has your waypoint, uh, your waypoint map and traditional where it shows your GPS and the depth at the same time. But this is your main screen. If you go to traditional, but I do have some footage um, of it working proper.
Then if we want to go back and go to F Flasher, that's what that looks like. This one, if you if you study how it works, um, you can actually see your lure going down into the water just by the uh, the lines, and you can tell when the fish is coming up to get it. But you have to really do your homework and learn how this uh, works. But again, I, I have this going while it's in the water, and I can show you what it looks like. Um, split frequency. Again, just kind of showing you what it can do. It has the different settings, um, alarms, it tells you when fish are uh, coming by in the, the screen. Get your nav navigation units, your vessel, the system, GPS. I mean, it's got it's um really cool little thing. I wasn't sure you know what all it would do um, but I've taken it out and it really works well um, when there's fish I usually catch something right underneath the dock so that's always good and like I said that I mainly got this to go on my kayak and I can't wait to get out there and try to find structure and st I think it's gonna really help me uh, catch fish and that's that's what I'm that's why I got it. My new addition to my kayak. And just like my last video with the other mods and additions I had to it, I'm just getting my kayak ready to do some seriously, seriously, some serious fishing. And I think this is going to help me out some. Okay, go ahead and turn it off. But there she is. Fits up really great. It's got a pocket back here to put the sensor, store all the wires, zip that up, and you're good to go. Like I said, this setup right here for dock fishing is awesome. Um, the battery holds a really good charge. Haven't had it run out yet. Now I just have to figure out how to get it on the kayak. All right, here's the instructions of how to use this to mount the sensor. I said that's pretty easy. The only hard part that I have is how I'm gonna mount it in the kayak so I can see it and it be kind of halfway safe so I'm not gonna get it too wet while I'm paddling. I've been looking back at what I filmed yesterday and I was doing a lot of debating on how I was going to mount the Garmin to my kayak. Made a lot of videos showing you the different ways that I thought. Most of them turned out to be pretty crappy, matter of fact. And I was thinking, people don't want to see that. They don't want to see just me rambling, trying to figure out how I was going to mount that to my kayak. So, I came up with a solution. I went to Harbor Freight and got this little, it's not technically waterproof, it's weatherproof, dustproof, all that stuff, but it is a pretty secure little box. It has foam in it, so, but you can take this foam out and cut it down to any shape that you want. That's what's cool about it. You got real tiny little squares. You can kind of see them right there if you push on it. 
and you can take those out make it to any shape you want to well here's my Garmin battery for my fish finder it fits perfect in there okay what I was thinking about doing is placing this in here putting some foam on this side and right here but leaving this area um, empty so I can hook up my leads close that down it's pretty secure then I was thinking about drilling a hole on top of it to run my wires and you're probably thinking okay why you don't drill a hole on the top of the box that if water comes in or if it falls in water it's going to get root okay my idea is where I'm putting this on the kayak if water comes up over this into this anyway I'm in trouble because my kayak is sinking um, so that's how I'm going to do it and then I'll show you how I'm going to mount the Garmin or the fish finder um, viewing screen but first let me show where I'm going to put this okay that's going to fit in there okay let's get this set up all right so that's where I set the box I had would not fit down into that uh, little compartment, but this new box will fit down into the compartment. So that's where I'll have it. That's where I'm going to have the battery. And like I said earlier, let me go get this out. All right. So I'll mount the battery. In that little box in that front compartment then the sensor this is the mount I'm gonna use for that and just to show you you cut it out push it down in there and it'll stay and that way I can remove it or put it back into the kayak is in this front compartment I'm going to probably push that forward and it does have uh, stickers on the back of it you can peel off and it will stick I might add a little bit more glue but I'm gonna glue that down inside the compartment probably about right up in here and that's where my sensor and my battery is going to be in that compartment Okay, I get that fixed. I'll probably run a wire just out the bottom of that right there. And I'll show you where I'm gonna mount. Here's my screen. How I'm gonna do that is on the bottom of this is a mount. Okay, this bottom part slides off and it's got three holes where I can put screws in. I'm gonna get a little square piece of wood, mount it to the bottom of this and put some Velcro. And then what can I, what will I do is probably right here I'll put velcro on the kayak and I can mount it just like that that way I can take it on and off the whole thing is still portable so I can put it back into its bag that I showed you and I can bring it to a dock and have my depth finder for like that or I can have my depth finder for my kayak that's the main reason I, I bought it for my kayak. So this is a quick, easy way to do that. And I can mount it a couple other places. If I wanted to put Velcro on the side, I could do that. But I think I'll probably try it right up in there and we'll see how that goes. That way I can sit in my chair See the depth finder, still pretty, um, pretty protected. Even if I wanted to put a clear plastic bag over this just to keep the water from maybe dripping water on it. We'll just have to see how it, how it is. And if I move it, it's gonna be easy to move. But I think the battery in that box and then put the mount and everything right here 
that's gonna be the best thing. And I'll probably use Velcro on the box too and place it in there so it don't slide around. It can't move too far in there anyway. Like I said, very little water gets in there anyway. If water did get four inches deep where it's coming over the top, I'm in trouble anyway. So I think it can remain pretty well dry. And there's maybe even something I could put in the hole when I drill the hole in there just to make it secure to, um, we'll just have to see. But that's my plan. That's the idea I came up with. All right, so that's my plan. That's how I'm gonna mount this. Like I said yesterday, I filmed a bunch of different, I was using this box. I was gonna leave it in this original bag. <coughs> but I was thinking about it last night when I was editing the film and it just didn't make sense. I needed a good plan. And so I thought about it last night and I went out this afternoon and got the supplies. That little box from Harbor Freight cost $12.99. Um, it's a pretty good secure little box. So that's some work good for my battery So that's it. That's how I'm gonna Mount everything in my kayak. I got a plan. I feel good about it And I think it's gonna work and if I do have to change it Nothing in there is mounted permanently and I can still move it This is gonna stay in place regardless because this is um, easy and like I said, there's several ways I can mount this. This is the mount that it came with. Um, I found some little pieces like that that I could make into another mount if I needed to. Or I could use, um, I think it's called duck seal and make a mold for that to fit in. No problem. So I'm not even worried about that. Like I said, I'll put the Velcro in so I can take it on and off to keep it mobile. And that's it. I'm ready. So, I wanted to have a good plan before I uh, produce this video, and I got one. So I'm gonna finish editing it and get it out there for y'all to see. You see what Daddy's doing? Is it time? Is it time to eat? You hungry? <laughs> you know what that is, don't you? Oh. Happy birthday, buddy. All right, let's go eat.